Uh, hello and welcome people to a video in which I will teach you the wonder or wondrous ways of getting rid of this shaking issue, the video shaking issue in PCSX2. Now, uh, this only appears in certain PS2 games, mostly early titles or uh, some action games like Devil May Cry 3. Um, first let's boot up the game where uh, the issue appears so uh, you can get the idea what I'm actually talking about. Well, that uh, there goes that. Uh, I need to first uh, disable certain settings so you can see that. Non-native. Okay. Yes. Let's run this again so you can actually see how things go wrong. Uh, that's much better by being much worse. Um, so yeah, uh, this game is one of those early uh, PS2 titles uh, that uh, used uh, what they call field rendering, which was uh, Sony's way of getting around the limited RAM they put into the PS2. Uh, this method entails uh, using only half the display resolution and just kind of displaying other half of the image every other frame. This is very dependent on uh, the frame rate of the game itself, so it causes a lot of issues, even on the console itself, mostly with the uh, with the screen shaking and whatnot. Now, uh, there is a way of uh, getting past it. I will just skip this and uh, put it here. As you can see, everything's shaking now. Uh, oh, and I should mention. Uh, this information here is incorrect. Uh, it will always say interlaced frame for games that actually use field rendering and interlaced field for games that use frame rendering. I don't know why, but it's uh, it works 100%, it's 100% of the times the wrong one. Now, uh, I should mention that this method will only work if you're using uh, the hardware mode. The, uh, the hardware rendering mode. Uh, don't know if uh, it's important whether you use whichever direct, uh, direct 3D or whatever. Um, never tested it. I never really used uh, PCXX too much. I only ever use it for uh, uh, testing whether or not the widescreen hack I'm using works. Now, most tutorials will tell you, well, switch between the interlacing modes or interlacing modes, as, as it's, but it's, it's the interlacing. Um, uh, which, uh, which one of those will uh, work for you? Now, that is half true, uh, but as you'll see here, uh, shaking is still there. It's, it's pretty much exactly the same as it were before. Uh, now, what you actually need to do is turn up the resolution to the times native. Uh, this is the important part for which you need the hardware mode, because without hardware mode you cannot uh, increase the resolution. Um, you cannot increase the resolution to times native. And as you'll see now, flawless. Everything is pr uh, perfectly readable, nothing, uh, nothing jumps or anything like that, and I'll load a state just to show off. Now I am I am recording this with fraps, so it's a little bit slower than it may be otherwise. Get going. And also, in case you're wondering, I do have the sound turned off on purpose because it's a little bit too loud in this game. So you see, no shaking whatsoever, and even though. Uh, even though the frames are dropping from time to time, uh, it still uh, works exactly as you would uh, as you would want it to if it were actually frame rendered PCSX. So yeah, uh, this method will not work for every single game simply because some of them will just die the moment you turn it to fr uh, turn it to hardware mode, and some of them are a little bit too demanding to make this method even feasible. Uh, so yeah, if you can use it, uh, go ahead. If you can't, well, th there is always, um, let me actually see, uh, software, 
and to blend. This method still works, but gives you a much fuzzier image. But hey, it does it doesn't shake as much as uh, as the other one. See. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. In case uh, I uh, just for the credit, I wasn't the one who came up with this method. It was my friend who I'm gonna put in the description. Uh, he's the one who uh, basically came up with this by messing around with uh, uh, with the PCSX settings. Uh, so uh, all credits to him. Thank you very much for watching.